First, what is the Shadow DOM? Shadow DOM is connected to the process of creating your own custom web components, like the video player, like this video player, right? Um, and these web components, like the video player, uh, we need them so that we don't repeat the whole markup every time. But not only. For every web component, the encapsulation is vital. We keep the component styles and the JavaScript code and logic in a separate place. We have the option to hide the internals, uh, as we discussed, by marking the Shadow DOM mode to close. And as we will discuss in the video, uh, you cannot interact uh, with such closed uh, Shadow DOMs uh, with the JavaScript or uh, in the WebDriver tests. And the Shadow DOM API is key part of this, providing a way to attach a hidden separate DOM to an element right here, right? Note that the Shadow DOM is not a new thing by any means. Browsers have used it for a long time to encapsulate the inner structure of an element. Think of this video tag right here. Think of this video tag. Uh, by the way, uh, in order to see um, the Shadow DOM right here, uh, you need one special option enabled in your uh, Chrome Developer Tools. You need to click Settings here and then you need to mark here show user agent shadow DOM. And then after that, you can see the internals here, right here, right? These are the internals, the buttons and everything inside the shadow DOM. And uh, this is our video tag. As I said, the native, some of the native elements of the HTML5, they actually use shadow DOM and custom web components.